mobile cell phones. Our opening hymn is number 616, Praise to the Lord the Almighty, 616. Please stand and join in our opening hymn. Smile all the way down, right? On this beautiful morning, we gather to praise and worship our God. And the beautiful and wonderful addition we have at Mass today is the celebration of baptism for three beautiful children of our parish community. And we begin, as always, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. God calls us always to rejoice, particularly on this beautiful morning that we can give thanks to God for his wondrous gifts. For the times we've forgotten God or neglected him, we ask his pardon. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand Father, have mercy on us. For 
you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, Hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land, which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command, nor shall you subtract from it. Observe them carefully. For thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This na great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has gods so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice will live in the 
A reading from the letter of St. James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He will give us birth by the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep one unstealth, oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Let's not be in our heart and on your lips that you are worthy to proclaim this holy gospel. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord when the pharisees with some scribes who had come from jerusalem gathered around jesus they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean that is unwashed hands for the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from the outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. From within, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. You just heard in the second reading, which is a letter of St. James, one of the great apostles of the church, do not be just hearers of the word, be doers. And there's a big difference. There's lots of people in the world who know about God, lots of them. They've heard the gospel. They've heard the word of God proclaimed by all different people, and yet, they don't live what they hear. So it would be doers of the world, not hearers only. St. James was one who really led by example. He was a great, strong saint. He died as a martyr, gave up his life for Christ in Jerusalem, way back just a few years after Jesus had risen from the dead. He was a very practical man. He was the one that told us, don't tell people, go out and Take care of yourself a good day. If you don't take care of their immediate needs, what good is that? They're all words. St. James was a marvelous example of what he put in that writing under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Be doers of the word, not hearers only. Sometimes it's difficult to be doers of that word. There's lots of people in the world, a lot of Christian people, a lot of Catholic people who claim the name Catholic, who know a lot about God. And there's scripture scholars and people who are really learned, some priests, some bishops even, who know all about God, everything there is to know in human understanding. But they're hearers only. They don't put into practice. They're not doers of that same word. And St. James reminds us today that we can't be that way. He had a tough life too. Anybody who dies a martyr, we know how difficult it was. But rather than deny Jesus Christ, he was willing to give up his life for him. We all hear the word of God over and over again every single week. You come here and you hear God's word proclaimed to us, we all do. But the difficult thing, of course, is putting into practice what we hear, living what we hear, being what we hear. God depends upon you and me. He's given us the choice. He's called us to be his disciples. Every single person here, regardless of age, regardless of background, ethnic background, or political activity, or regardless of sexual orientation or whether we're Republican or Democrat or liberals or conservatives, every one of us here today is called and we know what it means to be called and to know, understand the word of the Lord. We don't know everything, but we know enough about it to recognize that God depends upon you and me to represent him in the world in which we live. And when we go to school, or we go to work, or we go out shopping, or when we're in our own family and our home, we're called to always be doers of the word, to live as Christ prompts us to live and invites us to live, to make him present in the world by our lives, by our doing, by our example. God depends upon us. He left this world and he's gone up to heaven, Jesus did, but he's still with us. He walks with each one of us every single day. And he calls us to mind, we're calling to mind today, particularly in that second reading that was proclaimed to us, be doers of the word, not merely hearers. All of us know a bit about God, but if we don't live it, what good is it? A disciple is not one who just believes in his or her heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. No, it takes much more than that. We have to believe first, yes, but then we have to act on our beliefs. We can't just put those beliefs aside and figure, oh well, I go to church every Sunday. 
I contribute to the support of God's work. I'm a pretty good person. We can't depend on just on that. God depends upon us and calls us to be exemplary, to give examples of who he is, to give witness to who we are as his disciples, to live in the message that we have received. And today we ask the Lord to give us the courage to do just that. I hope and pray that nobody here will ever be called to have the test of his or her faith like the apostles did, like James did. A difficult thing, terribly difficult, to profess our faith in Jesus Christ rather than give in and deny him. I told the bishop and I said, I wouldn't even mind being a martyr if it didn't hurt. But the fact is, it's difficult. Life is not always easy. And whether we go to school or work or whatever we do, we're called to live the message we have heard. Be doers of the word and not merely hearers. And we ask the Lord today to give us the guts and the courage and the strength to live up to that challenge we have received. And now it's our privilege to celebrate the sacrament of baptism for three young people from our parish community. And I'm going to ask the parents and godparents to come up here with those children. Don't forget the children. And stand in front of us that we can all celebrate this sacrament with you. Face out. Face out to the step. Come on over here. I guess. The, right there. Yeah. Good. Great. Great. You're great. My dear parents and godparents, my dear friends in Christ. We have come here as a Christian community to present these children for baptism. By water and the Spirit, they are to receive the gift of life, a new life from God who is love. On your part, parents and godparents, you must make it your constant care to bring them up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives them is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in their hearts. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, join with us now with the renewal of our own baptism, rejecting sin again and professing our faith anew in Jesus Christ. This is the faith of the church, the faith in which these children are to be baptized. I invite everyone to stand and to respond loudly and clearly to each question I do. And so I ask you, my brothers and sisters, do you believe, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. And do you believe in his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who came into this world, <coughs> suffered and died for us, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit? the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. This is our faith, the faith of the church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And please be seated. Is it your will now that these children should be baptized in the faith of the church we have all professed with you? Okay. Not very loud. We accept them. Okay, bring them over here. Yeah, come over here. The godparent, put your hand. Up. Come, don't face them. People don't want to see what's going on. Godparents, put your hand on the child. The godparents. Okay, the back up. Emilia. That's good. Emilia, 
I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Just kind of step back a little. People can see. Leia, turn your head sideways a little bit. Okay. Okay. That might be easier. Leia, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Tickles. Tickles. Hallelujah. 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 That's Zoe. That's Zoe. Okay. Joey, I think, right? Yep, Zoe. I think you get the flowers off your head. Turn your head sideways a little bit. I can pour water on it. Okay, that's good. Zoe, I baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. You have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in these white garments the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, keep that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Receive the light of Christ. You see the light of Christ? And we see the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ and always to walk as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith in their hearts, and when the Lord comes, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the mute speak. May he soon touch your ears to hear his word and your mouth to proclaim his praise to the glory of God the Father. Let's congratulate now these parents and godparents on the baptism of their beautiful children. <laughs> blow out your candle now. Blow it out. Hi. Oh, you will. Okay. You can go back to the place now. Now, as a people of faith, we join our petitions and stand, we stand as we place our petition before the Lord, asking in faith that he grant what we pray for. That the church grow in unity and remember Christ's call to love and serve one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That lawgivers ensure just laws and equitable taxes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the unemployed, the underemployed, and the overworked 
all receive living wages for honest work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather at this table in our cathedral actively participate in celebrating Christ's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Marie Green and all of our deceased rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the success of our capital campaign, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are victims of wars and violence and needless shootings, we pray to the Lord. Great and good God, help us to be mindful of those in need around us, not only to see those needs, but to do what we can to alleviate them. We ask this always through Christ our Lord.
You're so kind. I'm not all bad. You know that. Thanks. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessings of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and profess. 
Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, you proclaim that we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ, that has been handed on to us, and granted by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, that together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your way with faith and hope we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in your presence and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and martyrs, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now as brothers and sisters in the Lord, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, my brother. It's with you. Thank you.
Behold the Lamb of God. <clears throat> Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Our communion hymn is number 945, Taste and See, 945. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Why you praise? Taste and see. Why you praise? Taste and Why see. The Why you praise?
peace be with you. How are you? Hi. Are you Christ? You're beautiful. You're beautiful, you know? Peace be with you, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, Jim. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for the great music today, all three of you. We really appreciate it. <laughs> and um, tomorrow is Labor Day, and we don't have Mass at 7 in the morning. We have Mass at 9 in the chapel tomorrow morning, and we invite you all to come. You know, we owe so much to so many unknown people for the standard of living that we're privileged to live. And uh, we honor all the whole people who labor, all professionals, all farmers, all people who work in stores and retail, all who serve us and the first responders, everyone that help us in our standard of living. So come on and pray for them and thank them tomorrow at Mass at 9 o'clock in our chapel. The other thing is that we need all of you this week, on Saturday, 
We're given the word that we have to get clean everything out of the school. And the stuff piled up in there in some places that have been there for 50 years or so. We have to take everything out so that the contractors can do their job well. And we've been given the word this week. So we have to get out of there on Saturday. We need you, every able-bodied person here. We need you, everybody, to come up and join us for a couple of hours Saturday morning. Hope we can clear it all out in one day. Otherwise, we'll ever get appeal for the week after. But we hope that this Saturday at 9 o'clock over at the school, the east entrance by the elevator, the one closest to us, if you'll meet there, and if you have pickup trucks that you can loan us for that time, we have stuff to bring to the dump, we have stuff to bring to a storage place down on Yakima Avenue, and um, we need your help badly. So please respond. Even though you never responded before, we need you this coming Saturday. Yep. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 614, Holy God, We Praise Thy Name, 614. Holy God, we praise Thy Name. scepter claim oh in heaven above adore thee 